with Pokemon 151 being a little over one week old, I thought to myself, is this the best specialty Pokemon set to date? If it is, how does it stack up against other modern specialty sets? Let's find out. There's no doubt that Pokemon 151 is here alive and well. It has absolutely consumed my social media timeline and it's pretty much all that I see. This set is doing exactly what I thought it would do and that is to bring back some old Pokemon 151 original base sets. Collectors like myself in my age group probably around 35 to 30 ish and it was going to give a lot of us modern collectors some pretty cool stuff to look forward to as well what i noticed is that there's a lot of that like middle ground from black and white era to um even sword and shield a lot of the these collectors they don't really care too much about pokemon 151 but that was to be expected because you know they didn't really grow up with the original 151 for myself i am an original base set fan and i started off with pokemon blue it was an awesome game but am i really excited about uh pokemon 151 to be completely honest i'm i really wasn't I was just like, wow, is this another specialty set where they're gonna reprint uh, some of the same cards? But surprisingly, they didn't, and they gave us all new artwork. So I applaud them for doing that at least. And don't get me wrong, Pokemon 151, it looks absolutely great from the Blastoise being underwater and to the Alakazam doing the telekinesis in a kitchen. I think these cards are absolutely gorgeous. And I'm so thankful that they just give us some original artwork. And that Blastoise card is one of the best looking Blastoise cards I've ever laid my eyes on. But how does Pokemon 151 compare to the other specialty sets in Pokemon TCG? If we go to really recent specialty sets, we have Crown Zenith. And if you guys know how much I love Crown Zenith, you guys would already know that I'm going to give the point to Crown Zenith. Crown Zenith is a pretty big set. It is absolutely jam-packed with stuff to open. It has the major Galarian Gallery. It has those four super cool gold cards in that like gothic old style that we've pretty much never seen Pokemon in before. And it has the best pull rates we've ever seen. I can't give enough flowers to Crown Zenith. And yes, like I said before, Crown Zenith is by far the best Sword and Shield set. Not only are Crown Zenith cards super cheap, but the products sealed are really affordable and they're pretty easy to get. It gave us plenty of opportunities to grab some sealed and crack some packs open. The prices for Crown Zenith singles are so, so low and you could pretty much scoop all of the banger cards for less than like 300 bucks and i predict that pokemon 151 is going to follow the exact same fate which as a collector i absolutely love i do not see these cards staying at you know 121 bucks i think that's the major charizard i don't think that's even gonna stay relatively close i see the biggest card maybe being around 50 50 to 75 bucks around that around that mark simply because there's going to be so much pokemon 151 we are going to be sick of it pokemon has said that they're going to make this set uh pretty much make the order so they're gonna be printing tons of it and i predict that by holiday season we're gonna see a lot of this stuff on sale so going back to comparing Crown Zenith to Pokemon 151, I think you guys know I'm going to give the point to Crown Zenith. And it's it's a hard one to beat. Pokemon 151 is great, don't get me wrong, but Crown Zenith is beyond stacked and it's, it's a pretty hard set to top. Next comparison is going to be Pokemon Celebrations. And let me just tell you guys right now, I wasn't that hyped on Celebrations at first. Until obviously I got the cards in my hands, cracked open some packs. I wasn't a fan of them not having 10 training cards in one pack of celebrations, but I think it was a cool pack opening experience. Had some of my favorite uh, older cards like the Shining uh, Magikarp and the uh, Dark Gyarados. So it was cool, it was a fun set, but 
uh, let's get into its flaws. So for Celebration's main flaw for me was that it was just too small and I got a lot of the same cards over and over and over again. The major elephant in the room is the reprint of just those first three uh, starters, the Charizard, Venusaur, and Blastoise. I'm pretty much so sick and tired of the artwork. I mean, obviously we haven't uh, got tons of reprints of the Venusaur and the uh, Blastoise, but uh, that Charizard, man, oh, I'm I'm beyond beyond done with it. Pokemon Celebrations was the celebrating 25 years of Pokemon, and it had some of uh, the 3D artwork and some of the best cards from the past, like the Rayquaza and Umbreon. It was cool for sure, but it's it just felt like another quick money grab. And it's pretty crazy to see that all these years later, we can still get some celebrations on TCG Player for like 20, 20 something bucks in a collection box. It's sitting there and it's out there. And again, I believe that Pokemon 151 is going to suffer the same fates. This is why I picked this set because I think it's going to be very similar. Um, I believe Pokemon 151 is the bigger set. I'm gonna compare these two right here. And yeah, I'm gonna give the point to uh, Pokemon 151, surprisingly, uh, compared to Celebrations. It was close, but 151 does have this slight advantage. And on to our next comparison, uh, we have to go a little bit further. Um, this is a set that I personally didn't open up, but I watched tons of videos of Pokétubers opening uh, the product, and this set is going to be a uh, XY Evolutions, pretty uh, popular set. And if you guys know, the booster box prices for this set are flying right now. I don't know why, because there's not really much in this set. But let's get down to the comparison. This set actually confuses me. With there's like 3D art, and there's the 2D art, and then there's the the reprints again of the original Charizard with the like McDonald's holographic glitter not a fan but I do like the gold borders I think those are super cool the Dragonite looks awesome and uh, what else was in there uh, oh the Brock's um, Brock card and the Misty card were super cool kind of gave us uh, another um, style of those that Brock and Misty. Uh, artwork that we know and love but other than that it's just another reprint of base set with different holographic patterns and for the top cards that i hate in this set is going to be that uh mega venusaur i think it's absolutely awful if you guys don't know i absolutely hate the 3d artwork i'm so sick and tired of it it's it, i know it has it's i know it's probably really easy for them to make and it's really cheap and it's you know, we're it's not it's not going it's not going anywhere. But um, absolutely hate it. And um, of course, I don't like the reprints and the reprint of the original Charizard artwork. I'm sick and tired of it. And we got we got both of that for for the one number one and number two card that I despise in this set. I do like that Charizard EX. I'm gonna put a picture of it right about here. And um, it's cool because it actually looks like a normal dragon and it doesn't look like Charizard. I know dragons aren't real, but you know, you know, you guys know what I mean. I actually do like those, uh, that, that Starmie gold break card. Like, I'll put another picture right around here. But uh, yeah, I thought those were cool. It did have some cool things. But um, if you guys are trying to buy some booster packs of XY Evolutions, I wouldn't go down that route. Just go buy the singles. And comparing XY Evolutions to Pokemon 151, it's pretty simple. XY Evolutions was just a reprint of base sets and with a few extra sidecars, like I said, like the Mega Blastoise and the Break cards. Those are cool, whatever. But to me, there's no like, it doesn't feel like the set flows. When you, when people were opening up those packs, it was like, cool, base set, base set, base set. And then this random 3D gold card, you're just like, how, how does that make sense? It, it just felt rushed. It didn't feel like, like I said, the set was together. So as far as like it being original, I, I'm gonna give the point to Pokemon and Pokemon Scarlet and Violet 151. Again, at least Pokemon Scarlet 151 uh, gave us original artwork. And when I look at all these specialty sets in the past, like I said, even I was gonna put Shining, uh, Shining Fates on this list. 
Um, I was gonna put, uh, what was the other one? Uh, Hidden Fates. All, even those sets, there's, they're just so bad. They're absolutely bad. I know I'm gonna get grilled in the comments. Do your worst. But I think that Pokemon Wolf I have won probably is the best specialty set simply because they gave us some entirely new artwork. Yes, it's a pretty small set, but it's pretty darn good. And I understand that the pull rates are not where we used to because specialty sets usually give us really, really good pull rates, but Pokemon just made us work a little bit harder. And after making this video, it's actually making me appreciate Pokemon 151 even more. And the best thing about Pokemon 151 is that we didn't get another reprint of the original Charizard artwork. Thank God. So when comparing Pokemon XY Evolutions to Pokemon 151, I'm gonna give the point to Pokemon Wolf 51 if you haven't predicted already from all that I said. And again, I couldn't get to all of the specialty sets. I just picked these because I thought they were the most noteworthy and actually stood a chance against Pokemon 151. I was thinking of doing Champion's Path and Shining Fates, but those sets are just whatever to me. And uh, Pokemon 151, I think, destroys those two with, with these. So let me know if I was right. Let me know if I was wrong. Are you guys enjoying Pokemon 151 so far? Let me know in the comment section down below. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later.